Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we're headed into the old school right now. Where we just finished our free time. It's almost lunchtime. Better get back to Takuma. We have to make a decision with our group. Agumon, you're back. Takuma, this is huge. You won't believe it. I won't believe what? It's really big and shiny and just unbelievable. Big and shiny? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, what was it Falcomon called it? All right, a radio tawa. Oh, what? Oh, you mean a radio tawa? Didn't he say round? They quickly got everyone together, and they were all thrilled by Agumon's discovery. This tower sends cell signals too, right? If we go there, our phones might start working. I don't think that's how they work. I bet from a tall building like that, we could get a great view of our surroundings. Just how tall is it? It's super tall. Oh, come on. You saw it too, right? How tall would you say it was? Well, it's hard to say with no comparison. But it was taller than this school. It's that big, then there's no doubt. Do you think it's working? That I do not know, after all. None of us have ever even heard of these towers before. Yet I knew the name of it. Well, if we went there, we could find out. Who knows? Maybe there's someone there. Yeah, sitting around talking about it isn't going to do much do us much good. It sounds like we're in for a hike. Let's do this, Aoi. A hike? What do you mean? What kind of a hike? Oh, didn't you know? Towers on top of a mountain, through the forest and over a mountain pass. Wait, you mean we need to go through the forest? You can't be serious. This place is crawling with monsters. Just exploring around here would be risky. But you want to go climb a mountain? There's no way we should stay here. Shuji, you don't have to get so upset. Shut up! I just want to hear it. I don't want to hear another word from you. Sniff, sniff. It doesn't matter. Nothing we do matters. Kiru. Say what you want, Shuji. Nothing's going to change if we just stay here. What can a bunch of kids do? We need to wait for the adults to come rescue us. As if anyone's ever coming. <laughs> yeah, Shuji, you said it yourself. Nobody's coming for us. I never said that. Not out loud. If I did, that might make it come true. Even knowing there wasn't much chance of a rescue, none really, Shuji still hoped. I'm, I'm going with you, Labramon. Will you come with me? You bet I will, Aoi. Wait, Aoi? I thought you agreed we should stay here. If if that tower has a cell signal, that would mean we could contact a teacher. We could talk to everyone, even call for help. C call for help? Yes, and then wait to be rescued. Are you really still against this, Shuji? You tell him, Aoi. Hey. That means now a majority of us want to go explore. I'm interested in this tower too. That puts me, Minori, Saki, and Aoi in favor of going. So what now, Shuiji? But no. Shuiji must really not want to go back out there if he's still not convinced. If only there were some way to win him over. Why was he opposed to exploration again? He might be attacked. Might get lost. Wow. We might get lost, or we might be attacked. I'm guessing the attack is one of those. Come on. Did you spot anything that seemed dangerous that might attack us on the way? Not to worry. We didn't get attacked once. I didn't catch a whiff of anything suspicious either. So it's not dangerous. Sounds like a no-brainer. 
you really think it's safe? I guess in that case... Uh, well, if you all want to go, I guess there's no point in me trying to stop you. Okay, everybody. Bye. Bye. What are you two talking about? You're coming with us. What, what will you do if a monster attacks? It's just the two of you. And let's not forget, neither of you have a partner, monster. Indeed, we will not let any harm come to you. And I'll help keep you safe, too. Never one to be left out, are you? Yeah. Agumon's like this all the time. Oh, and Ryo, you'll look after the place while we're gone, won't you? Wait, don't you go leaving me behind. I'm going too, okay? Oh, come on, Ryo. How are you so uncooperative if you can't handle being on your own? Ah, oh, it's alright. At least he's finally back to being the Ryo we know. It's been a little off lately. This guy's supposed to be bitter and crappy. If you say so. Following directions from Agumon sounds like a terrible idea. Huh. A bridge. Hard to believe this place was right here, so close to the school. Yeah, just a little to the left of the shrine, yet it feels so different. We're a big group, and Haru's a little kid, but we still made it in under an hour. This drop goes really far down. It's not too steep, but it would still be a nasty fall. Hey look, there's a huge bridge over there. That was the first and only thing I spotted. I haven't seen this radio tower. Wow, it's enormous. I've never seen anything like it before. Not this again. Can't you give it a rest? Oh, what do you mean? Give what a rest? Agumon keeps talking about how he wants to be like all this stuff he sees. Yep, I want to be super big, just like that bridge. Agumon... You're lucky you're cute, and you're just the best at fighting in the group. You see what I mean? You guys are funny like that. Don't you think it's weird, Takuma? Yeah, though it's hardly the only strange thing about them. You got me there. The fact that they even exist is pretty strange. Heh <laughs> heh, you're too kind. That wasn't a compliment. I've been having so much fun with Floramon and the others, that it's easy to forget. But we still don't really have any idea of what they are. Yeah, that's the kind of question I wish the professor were here to answer. Not that I can say that in front of Saki. You alright, Ryo? If if we get attacked here this time, this time I'm d d d It's okay. I don't sense anything dangerous nearby. What? Shut up! Leave me alone already. Cute. Like you even care what happens to me? Just go on and leave me alone. That's not going to happen. We're not leaving anyone behind. That's what the professor wanted, so I I owe that to him too. Yeah. I feel the same way. We're not about to just leave you alone. I don't want to lose another person the way we lost the professor. Damn it, just shut up. And now he's back to mumbling under his breath again. At least he's keeping pace. Hopefully that's a good sign. covered quite the distance. The tower is on top of this mountain, right? It sure is! Hmm, look, there's someone over there. Is that... Oh! Who the fuck he with, though? It's Kaito. It is? Oh, what a relief. 
so glad he's okay. He's about to like get stabbed through the chest. Hmm, wait. There's someone with him. Who could that be? You! What did you do with Mio? You better give me a straight answer, or you're not gonna like what happens next. Huh. When will you get it through your skull that I don't have to tell you anything? Why, you little... Fine. You asked for this. Kaito! Huh? Hmm? Kaito! You're alright. So good to see you. Guys, help me out. This lady. Help, please. Huh? This boy came out of nowhere and started screaming at me. I don't know why. Stop lying. I know you're a monster in disguise. Kaito, stop. What's going on? Oh. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Drachmon, Kaito's partner. I'm Agumon, Takuma's partner. And I'm Takuma. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Pleasure's all mine. Now, I'd better explain why things are so messed up. Kaito and Miu are getting through the forest together. Then Kaito uh, went to scout ahead. Uh, we came back and Mio was gone, so we started looking for her. And this is where I came in. Drachmon offered to help right away, so I knew he must be all right. Wow, that was kind of a snap judgment, although I guess it worked out this time. Anyway, I started helping Kaito look for Mio, and then that human woman showed up. Yeah, you can't really sense her like you can the rest of us. Um, true, but some of us can mask our presence, so I'm not sure you can go by that. So what are you going by? Instinct. And I trust Kaito, which means I trust his instinct, too. That's a, but is that really good enough? What if you're wrong? Then we can just apologize. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Well, in a time like this, I can only think Iron Bridge. Large Iron Bridge has been built between the mountains. Seems odd. There shouldn't be any roads for cars to travel on in the mountain trail we used. Alright, Aoi, what do you got to say? What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing with Kaito? I have no idea. Just have to find out. We should start by hearing what they have to say. Good thinking, Aoi. That's just what we should do. Shuji, what do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing? Yes. Okay, talk about. Do you think you can handle this? What me? I'll go with you, of course. But I think you're the best one for the job. Count on you to take care of this. Okay, I'll do what I can. Good, good luck. Thanks. All right. Dracomon, Dracmon. I trust Kaito and his instinct. Haru, you're along. What do you think? Are either of you concerned about them fighting? Nah. Nah. Hey, Kaito's a friend. I think you should at least be a little concerned. You keep talking about Kaito. Who is he? Hmm? We've never met him. Never. What? Oh, right. You never did meet him. Is he really a friend? You're sure he's not a monster? Don't worry he's definitely a friend but I do 
appreciate the Minoru, what do you got? What do you make of that woman? Why do you think she's arguing Kaizo? I, I can't talk to someone that pretty makes me super nervous. Minoru, when you speak so casually, it just makes it obvious that you're being insincere. Doing it on purpose, okay? Alright, Saki. What do you make of that woman? Why did it just. Yeah, it sounds. Well, ready to get to it, Takuma? Oh, you're coming too, right? You're not just going to put me all. Well, it sounds like a huge pain to me. Count me out. Hey, no fair. If you're not going, then neither am I. Both of you, come give me a hand. All right, Rio. Are you still depressed? She she looks just like her. Who is she? What's Kaito complaining about? I have no idea. We'll just have to find out. What? Really? Not that I care. Thank you. She looks just like who? I was out walking, not far from my house. Then suddenly I was surrounded by a strange fog and the next thing I knew I was lost. Not just lost, I was somewhere I'd never seen before. I kept walking until I saw this boy. As for this purse, it was lying by the path. I was going to return it if I found the owner. Hmm, nothing about that sounds off to me. Me either. The fact that she even has Mew's purse is off. Kaito, relax. Could you please stay quiet for just a minute? The one thing that does seem strange to me is her ability to be safe without a monster. Monster? What do you mean, monster? Who are you calling a monster? Oh my. Ah, well, what could that be? Huh. I seem more like an act than an actual surprise. But maybe I'm overthinking it. Uh, uh, uh. What is it, Rio? Mommy? Uh, excuse me? Oh, uh, she reminds me of my mother. She's a good person. I'm sure of it. Right. So Rio's got mommy issues. You got anything else to say, lady? I'm telling you the truth, please believe me. Alright. This woman just showed up and started talking to me, and she was holding Miyu's purse. Oh yeah, what about Miyu? You're right, I don't see her anywhere. Where is she? I don't know. We stayed together for a while, then I left for one second and she was gone. That's awful. Then this woman comes out of nowhere with some of Miyu's stuff does seem suspicious, but why call her a monster in disguise? Everything we've met so far has been a monster. What makes you think she's not? I'm not sure that's logical, but I don't think it's illogical. Unlogical. You see, he's convinced, and I don't know what to do. I only spoke to him because he's the only soul I saw nearby. Well, what say you? Don't tell me you're buying that bull. Hmm. Oh, okay, we got some opinions. Oh, we, what do you got? Kaito and that women are saying completely different things. Whose story do we trust? Well, I think we should hear more from Kaito. Good thinking, are we? That's just what we should do. Everyone, is that all you know how to say now? So what makes you say that? Right now, it's just my intuition. I'm more inclined to trust Kaito since he's a friend. That and that woman's story just seems a little too convenient. Oh, we should hear more from Kaizo. Okay, so you two are Team Kaito and you two. Kaito and that woman are saying completely different things. Whose story do we trust? Well, if you ask me, we should talk more of that woman. Why is that? I mean, just look at her. Man, she even smells nice. <laughs> Minoru, you look funny. Your whole face is red. Minoru, be serious. I'm serious. It's not like I'm deciding based on looks because I'm so confused. Uh, right, okay. I think I see where you're coming from. And Saki, let's ask that woman about her story. Alright. Unfamiliar woman, what do you got? Incidentally, what are all of you doing here? Trying to get to that radio tower over there. Don't tell them. Radio tower? You know 
how there's no signal. We're hoping if we get there, our cell phones will work. Uh, your cell phones? Right, then we'll be able to call for help. Oh yes, that would be wonderful. Well, if you're heading for the Rage Tower, I know a way to get there. Seriously? If that's true, it would be a big help. Oh yes, just up ahead there's a vehicle that goes to Summit. What was it called again? I remember, it's a cable car. I could take you there if you'd like. Uh, wow, who would have thought there'd be a cable car? This is great, it'll make things easy. I'm sure will, thanks for telling us. Wait a minute. Something about this isn't adding up. Why come here then? What do you mean? I mean, if you know the way to the tower, why come out here where there's no signal? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Honestly, it seems like you didn't know what the tower was at first, or even cell phones. Wait, so you are a monster? Heaven forbid. I just thought someone could be nearby. So I came looking for them. I've wandered all over looking for help, using that radio tower as a landmark. I'm sorry if my manner misled you. <sighs> I can be a bit clueless sometimes. Oh, okay then. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, was it a misunderstanding? Her explanation just now seemed pretty fishy. Alright, Kaito, what do you got? I don't know. Doubting her because she had some of Mew's stuff seems kinda... No real flimsy. Kaito, are you sure you aren't jumping to conclusions? What about what she has to say? Oh, come on, guys. Takuma, you must be able to see that something's not quite right here. Uh, well, I don't think we know enough to say for sure. Wait, hold on a minute. Didn't the professor say only children get offered as sacrifices? So, doesn't that make it strange for there to be an adult here? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you're right. But also, the professor was here and he's really old. I'm not so sure. I mean, the sacrifices might not have anything to do with this. Besides, the professor was brought here as an adult. Maybe it's not that strange. Oh, right. Hmm. Who cares about some random disappearances? She did something to Miu. Ah, it's getting so old. Would you give it a rest? Hmm. What do you guys say, Saki? Kaito and that woman are saying completely different things. Why don't we ask about the woman's story? Why do you see Just a feeling. Besides, it's not like there were any holes in her story. Importantly, I can't stand how Kaito just refuses to listen. He keeps going on and on about not trusting her. It's like he's got tunnel vision. Haha, huh. <laughs> that's a funny face you're making, Asaki. It's all scrunched up. Oh, come on. Don't look at me when I get like this. Oh, I do see what you're saying. Alright, and Shuji, what do you think? Kaito and that woman are saying, in my opinion, we should hear a bit more from Kaito. Why do you say that? Well, I realize we don't have enough information to really come to a decision. Like I said before, that woman being alone out here seems weird to me. I think it's weird that she could survive in this world of monsters all in a room. Exactly. Every few hours there's a crisis. How can she be so calm out here by herself? If it were me on my own, I'd have lost it by now. 
Chuji. <laughs> this will be the real test. What does my phone do to her? Da -da -da -da. Oh, that just went much quicker than I thought. Why? I... Hmm. Oh, I didn't expect to be able to go that low. What do you got to say, unfamiliar woman? This woman is totally suspicious. Don't you trust her? Hmm. How can I clear things up for you? Uh, I believe you. Well then, <laughs> thank you. Yes, mommy. Look, Kaito, if you don't trust her, what's the alternative? Could you lay it out for us? What? Don't give me that. If you screw with me, I will mess you up. Quit snapping at people. See, this is the problem with you, Kaito. You refuse to budge and you just harass people until you get your way. Ugh, I don't want to hear this. This isn't about my problems, okay? Please stop fighting. You want to get to the tower, right? I'll take you there. No need to get so worked up. Right, everybody's chatting's nice and all, but how much time have you got to spare? Yeah, we really should be getting to the tower. What about you, Kaito? Gotta find Miu, so come on. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Kaito! Kaito, did you just punch her? You said it. So what do we do? And yeah, it's either we believe Kaito or this woman, right? She's right. Mommy's right. Cute, cute. Now, I'm not sure how much I trust her. She knows the way to the tower. It'd be great if she could show us. That's a good point. Regardless of who we believe, we have to keep our goal in mind. Yeah! It'd be great to have a guide. After all, I hate to get lost out here. But didn't Agumon and the others already make it up there? What? Oh, I don't know the way. What? You don't? I apologize if we misled you. We only saw the tower from afar. You mean we could have gotten lost at any time? That just makes this even better. Now we can have her show us the way. Yes. Let's do that. I sure don't want to get lost. Wait, you actually want to trust this liar? That's the monster that kidnapped me, you. I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Oh great, here we go again. Takuma, I think it's time we make a decision. This woman knows the way to the tower, but she does seem kind of suspicious. Kaito's a friend, but he's not making much sense and seems pretty hung up about Miu. So... Kai... She is very suspicious, which probably means we should not f let her lead us down a path in the mountains. Um, and I wanted to go with Kaido, and then he just punched her or something. So I don't like Kaito, so I really want to trust her, but in the grand scheme of things, Kaito is... Kaito is on this list. Unfamil if the unfamiliar woman's on the list, I will pick her. She is not. So, I guess we're going with Kaito. You guys just don't get it. Whatever, I'll find Miu, if that means I have to do it alone. I did pick Kaito, right? So long then. What? Hey, you can't just leave. Man, I wish he wasn't so stubborn. I'll go reason with him. You guys go on ahead. Takuma, not you too. Don't you walk off like that. You can get to the tower just fine without Agumon and me. But it might take a while to talk some sense into Kaito. So meanwhile, check things out. Right, you got it, Takuma. We're coming too. 
Haru, Yuki. Man, if I don't hurry, I'm going to lose Kaito. I can't stop to argue about this. Fine, but stay with me, okay? Let's go, Agumon. Oh, yeah. Agumon to the rescue. Hey there. We meet again. What's up? Huh. What are you doing coming after me? Don't give me that. Why do you always have to act on your own? Hey, you're the one who followed me. What do you call that? Not letting a friend go off on his own. One I wasn't sure I'd ever see again. <laughs> Is that so? What about the half pints? They your backup? Half pints? Oh, right. You haven't met these two yet. This is Haru, and this is Miyuki. We've been sticking together. Hi. Hi. Sure, whatever. Just remember, you're the one who wanted to follow me. Better not slow me down. Drachma, join the party. What's wrong with your face? Huh? What's this? Huh, blue seed. There was a boost seed in your face. It's pretty weird, huh? What's this? Ugh. Wild ribs. And what's this? More boost seed. I like how they're in glass jars. More boost seed. Alright. Is there anything that. Any free items that aren't boost seed? Suspicious thicket, mountain path, power drop. It's pretty clear cut for just a game trail. Do humans have a hand in this? The path seems to be heading toward the summit. Suspicious thicket. I don't know what the who to talk to. I didn't mention it before, but I thought that woman was real suspicious. Why do you think that? She'd get this nasty look in her eyes, but only when she was looking at one of you. Now you tell us this? Why don't you say something sooner? What do you mean by nasty? It was the look of a predator. Look of a hunter, a thief, or a carnivorous beast. It's filled with the kind of disdain only something like that could feel for its prey. Sounds pretty scary. If that's what she's really like, that would mean the others are all in danger. Nah, they've got her outnumbered. She won't try anything unless something big changes. I hope you're right. Uh, I'm curious about this suspicious thicket. Hey, I found something. It's not something weird, is it? Like monster droppings? Gross. Gross. It's not monster droppings, come on. One time. What is it then? Oh, what is that? Oh, a guard break. Hmm. I wonder if we can use this. It's gotta be good for something. We need to use everything we can to survive. It's true. Good job, Agumon. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was enough. We could do one of those three things. Wow. It's an actual cable car. Curious device. It looks every bit as run down and decrepit as the school. Does this thing actually work? Cars run automatically on a schedule. One should be here soon. Wait, you mean there's electricity here? There wasn't any at the school. I bet some other weird power source. Not so far-fetched compared to our little pals. So this thing runs automatically? Are you sure it won't drop us halfway to the top? What? There's no way I'm getting on that thing. Yeah. Fall from that height, and even I'd be done for. If we could fall? That would be terrible. We'd better not ride on it. Don't worry. The cars and the cables are both quite sturdy. Nothing's ever broken them. Whew. That's a relief. Yeah, otherwise they wouldn't be there, you stupid kids. Is there no one else here? I expect there would at least be a maintenance worker. 
No, never found anyone else. Is that a problem? No, just something I was wondering about. Aoi, you're not still suspicious, are you? Oh, that's right, Aoi was suspicious. You can see she's been telling the truth. Isn't it about time we started trusting her? I'm not so sure. Well, just look at Ryu. He seems to have warmed right up to her. Mummy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Cute. See, what's well, not to trust? She's been nothing but helpful. And that's after the way Kaito treated her. She's got to be really nice. Definitely not up to something then. Well, I suppose. Okay, everyone. Car's here. Never ridden on a cable car before. It's kind of exciting. Get in, everybody. This will take us straight to the tower. I'm worried about Minoru and the others. I can only go ahead with Kaito for now. Yeah, because it's too late. Oh, yay, more things appeared. More ribs, yum. If all I get is ribs and okay, a big bandage, at least that's something different. I guess I can probably just move this around and then More ribs. Great. What a oh, big bandage. Ah, oh, no. Drachmon, what do you got? Man, in my board, I wish we'd get attacked or something. You don't say things like that. I prefer not getting attacked. You don't get it. Boredom is like poison. Sapture would live, slowly pulling you to death. Stop creeping me out, would you? I'll let him get to you, Takuma. He likes to mess with people, so he'll say random stuff and wait for a reaction. Hey, that's not fair. I very often mean every word that I say. Did you mean what you said just now? Nope. See? <laughs> well, it's clear you two get along. Which that reminds me, I need to... Where is Dracoma? Okay, he's... Okay. Uh, I hate those hand eyes. Alright, I guess you can have a guard break and that's all I can give you. Ooh, nice. Alright. Just quick save and um Kaito, what do you got? Look, isn't that hmm, yeah. If we keep going this way, we'll end up at that cable car platform. I can't believe this. We just went the long way. Who knew we'd wind up at the same spot? Well, if you have to take a cable car to get there, you can't really get somewhere else. Well, whatever, let's just keep going. Bright side, maybe the view from the tower will help us find Miu. Maybe. If we actually get a signal, maybe that's how we all get back. Including Miu. Anyway, we might as well all go up there and see what happens. Now I have to wonder what the other two would have said. See, everything's fine. Wow, we're up so high. It's funny because looking outside, they're just above tree line. Ooh, a heavy lock, too. Hey, I'm not out here for the fun of it. Try to stay alert. I see no cable in the background. 
Oh, relax, Shuji. We're practically there. What's the harm in having a little fun? But, but fun is the enemy. Disaster could strike at any moment. We must remain vigilant. Oh, you're so strict. Don't you get tired being on high alert all the time? I I hate heights. <laughs> it's all right, everyone. We're almost there. When we get to the tower, our cell phone should work. Then we can call for help. And this whole wilderness survival nightmare will finally be over. Yes, soon it will all be over. Radio tower is up and running, isn't it? So why didn't you stick around there? Why indeed. <laughs> huh? What do you... If you want something done right, I suppose you must do it yourself. None of these are answers. Huh? Did, did you just... You know, I am, really am very grateful to all of you. I feel like I should thank you. Oh, don't mention it. Honestly, I'm not even sure why'd you feel, why you would feel that way. Why? Because even if that one little brat got away, now you're all here instead. And there are so many of you. I can't thank you enough. Look, what's gotten into you? I don't get it. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be sure to catch your other little friend too. What are you talking about? Mommy? God, I love it. Well, I suppose this is the end of the line for you. Wow. Everyone okay? Also, before this happens, I just have to say I hate the game for doing this again. You'll see why in a second. What happened? I hit my head. Seems like nobody has any major injuries. Uh, is it just me? Does something seem wrong? The car. It's not moving. Huh? That woman. She's gone. What? Seriously? Y yeah. Ryu, b -b -b behind you. Huh? I guess it's Ryo, wouldn't it be? Huh? God damn it, I look at my other screen. A spider? Again? Yeah, exactly. What is that thing? A demon? Demon spider woman? Oh, no, 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 no. It's huge. Wait, what happened to that woman? Not very bright, are you? Or is my disguise just that good? Don't you know better than to trust a stranger? She's smiling. So creepy. I am Arukinimon, but don't worry, you won't need to remember my name for long, because you're all about to die. Eek. Yes, I'll offer up everyone in this box as sacrifices. Oh no, what are we going to do? Shuji! This is why I didn't want to go exploring. What? Yeah? Uh, I'm scared. No, no. Mommy. That's not, that's not my mommy. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Mommy's not here. Yeah, you're right, Rio. We have made zero progress. Oh, Miyuki, what is it? Hmm? Is something wrong? What are you looking at, Miyuki? Uh, 
Oh, looks like a cable car. That's great. Focus. It stopped part way up. Looks like everyone's trapped inside. Wait, so this was all that woman's plan? Ha, huh, I knew she was a monster. What'd I tell you? What's going to happen to them? We need to get over there and save them. Right, let's go. Count me in. I'm gonna smash that monster woman's face in. Come on, Drakmon. You got it. Alright, let's go. You're the reason this whole world is falling apart. But by sacrificing human children, we can prevent its destruction. We will be saved. I thought all might be lost when that little girl with the hat got away. But now I can offer up all of you instead. So wait, this is that woman? A sneak attack, huh? What a coward. Takuma, get ready for some action. We're gonna stop this giant bug and save everyone. Right. Let's do this, Agumon. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're familiar with the anime, um, I think she has, like, if not the same disguise, a very similar disguise. I'm just trying to figure out. Also, can I walk on the spider webs? Because I don't want to. A little help here? What a pain. Hold your horses. We're coming to help. So I might just make them come to me. I'm closest, so guess I'm up first. Let me at them. <laughs> Ironically, not up first. I don't want to walk on it. Do I have any stats from being... I didn't know if it would say anything from me being here. that I can walk on this which I know is probably a weird oh man evolution time I like how he has apparently no eyes. Wait, what's his talk to? Physical attack boosted. Sick. What's his attack range? Absorbing HP. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's just give a nice... He'll take it himself. Playtime now. Because I'm assuming Greymon can handle himself. Actually, if I move right behind him, I'll give him my best shot. Um, so 
HP, SP, boost speed. Yeah, use that on yourself. Oh, that's right, it's attack or item. Yeah, boost your own stats, Greymon. I guess end your turn. I think that other one might be just out of my range when he moves in. Okay, he's staying steadfast. And I'm curious. I'm really curious what those orb things are. If they're not like. Some kind of. Item box. I have no idea what they would be. See, these fights are a lot easier than other games with turns like this. I have guard break. Because usually, you know, everyone on that team would be moving in to hit me. Unbelievably unfortunate. All right, now what's this? All right, she's not doing anything. While we're here, while I'm thinking about it, what is this? A phasma main. It's inorganic. That's not a lot of damage. Hey, that wasn't... Oh, wait, no, I just couldn't move there. Oh, a counter. Gross. Actually, I don't think I can hit him from there. Uh, just like retreat real quick and take an item. Probably start heading out of here, I think. 
Is this, can I hit from here? Oh wait, yeah, that'll hit. Oh, I thought I was done for. Thanks for the save. Oh. We get reinforcements? Oh. Now then, time for a little payback. You didn't even send your Digimon out. You just examine the terrain. Yeah, so those... Each team gets two more. moves here should be able to... oh, that didn't do much damage all right now I want you to give extra moves to Grimon and then move yourself and your turn move yourself Talk to heal Sanglomon. And end your turn. Yeah, I'm still not too sure about that electric ball up there. if I can hit it first. Oh, I can't hit it from there. What is it? A venom trap. That seems like the thing that would be helpful. Oh no, I'm low on MP. anyone. I like that he's retreating. And you just take a bandage just because you have we have so many and they're not getting used anywhere else. Break plus. Hmm. Oh, that was a dead end that way. Never seen. I wonder if her digivolution gets any more moves. Or like vertical move. Huh. 
<laughs> right? No idea what that was. Got some SP back. So you're gonna evolve. Because now you're gonna do some fighting. Can I hit him from three away? Oh, no, it's two away. No need to get too close to the boss until we have to. Now I feel like an idiot. Oh no, she's on the hunt. I'm guessing I can't toss advantage. Nope. attack short of being able to hit him. I could have used an item to heal my guy there. Oh, you still can't make it up there, you stupid, stupid dog that I am responsible for. all of my other items on him. Just end your turn. This is a better spot anyway. Frustrating. For all that I was holding back, I do not like losing to these brats. She was holding back? She was still that tough? She was just toying with us. <laughs> not exactly. I simply wasn't motivated to fight with all I had. Ah, <sighs> and I had the ceremony all ready to. Oh well. After all. I needed to be the one to make the offering. Alright, 
Enough of your babbling. What did you do with the girl you kidnapped earlier? Do you really still not get it? I'm under no obligation to tell you anything. So even now you're trying to pull that crap. Maybe you haven't felt enough pain. Ka Kaito, I don't think violence is the answer here. <laughs> Maybe she isn't telling you because she just doesn't know. What? Ha! <laughs> Aren't you a clever one? You're smarter than you look. Careful, Kaito. Don't get too close. There's only one reason she'd be dragging this out. She's got something up her sleeve. Oh, give this one a prize. But first, let me bid you adieu. What? Ugh. Damn it, she got away. Again, that monster. You did all you could. No wonder she was so smug. She was sure she could get away. And she did. I wonder if that's why she didn't feel motivated to go all out. <sighs> Maybe there was some reason she had to pretend to put up a fight. Well, we can worry about that later. Let's focus on climbing the tower for now. For the moment. Ooh, we got a few level ups. So one for her. I can't tell if that's one or two for him. One for Agumon. No, he got three level ups, which is fantastic. And it looks like... She Bergamon got three as well. Oh, that's a lot of great items. And all for Agumon. Oh, the cable car made it the rest of the way. Without issue. Help! Somebody help, please! Huh? I thought I heard a voice just now. You don't think it's that Arukenamon again, do you? No, they were calling for help. I thought I heard it coming from around here. Well, if it's help they're after, it's help they'll get. Wait, you don't even know who it is. What if they want to take advantage of us? Uh, don't be like that. We should help them. Shut up! Nobody asked you. What if we made them agree not to attack us in exchange for our help? Yeah, but don't stop there. We could tell them to give us all their free food, too. That might as well be robbery. Hey, I found him. Oh, it's a Tentamon. Help! It's Tentamon. No need to worry about him. Poor things caught in a spider web. So what do we do about this kid? Let's leave him. We help, of course. We should get him out of here. There, Agumon. Think you can cut through those threads? No problem. It was a problem for the easier spiders. So, explain that to me, Agumon. Why is it not a problem now? Oh, I'm saved. Thank you so much for helping me. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? More human children. How unusual. More? Wait, you mean you've seen others? Right, so you are. And a lot smaller than the one behind you. Could that have been Mew? Was she walking around by herself? Well, she'd been captured by that terrifying Arukenamon, you see. 
I couldn't help but take pity on the girl, so I rescued her at the first opportunity. Unfortunately, I was then discovered by Alokinamon, taken prisoner myself. <laughs> what about Mew? What happened to the girl? The girl? Why, she ran away. I was right behind her, so there's no doubt about that. She was headed to that shiny place you see. Oh, great. Thanks for telling me, and for rescuing Mew in the first place. Oh my, don't even mention it. So, where exactly is the shiny place? I'm not sure how to describe it. Why not climb up somewhere and see for yourself? Hey, you think we'd be able to see it from the top of that tower? Good thinking. Let's go up and find out. Wait, from the radio tower? I thought the radio tower was the shiny place. Whew. Finally made it. You know, I should have thought of this sooner. But how's that old cable car working? Where's the power coming from? Who's keeping it running? It doesn't make any sense. It's the same thing with the plumbing at the school. Like, how does any of this work? Wait, what, what, what the hell is this? This doesn't make any sense. Why are we surrounded by water? This is supposed to be a mountain range. This is an island? Does that mean we actually got teleported here? This is all getting real crazy real fast. Your school, the shrine, those buildings are all just like I remember. But the geography is all wrong. How did this happen? I, I can't believe this. I feel like I don't know what's wrong, what's what anymore. Everyone, we've got to c c calm down. Uh, uh. You seem more upset than anyone. This can't be. It's a shocking sight for all of us, but it must be worse for Kaito being local. And Aoi is actually speechless. What's wrong with the ocean? Why is this an island? Even some of those buildings are wrong. Wow! What's that shiny thing? And that looks like a giant ring. What? Is that Disney World? Check out that building covered with steel pipes over there. At this point, we have to be in some other dimension, don't we? Nobody's coming to save us. That's just what we'll have to accept, isn't it? You can't say that for sure. Come on, let's not give up just yet. But, but we... Uh. <laughs> Rio? I knew it. This isn't the real world. Not a chance. <laughs> this, this is the afterlife. Yeah, that's it. It's gotta be. Uh. <laughs> Rio, come on. Pull yourself out together. We're all dead, all of us, but then what about Mummy? Mummy's dead too, of course. That means she's here. I knew it was her. She's here for me. Calling for me. Rio, you're losing it. Get it together. This isn't the time or place to start panicking. Situations like this, it's important to keep a clear head, act with ca- Shut up! Ow! It didn't have to hit me. Wow! 
Wow. Rio, where do you think you're going? It's dangerous out there. This is bad. We have to stop him. I like that we're chasing after him. I could really use a break, you know, like pause it, end this episode. I think we're a little over that hour mark. Oh no, that doesn't look good. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I get it now. Mommy's here. I'm going to see my mommy. Mama. Mommy! Mama. Mommy! It's me. <laughs> Help me. Oh, fuck. I'll double fuck. Oh, you poor little boy. <laughs> you want to see your mommy that badly? Come right over here, you poor baby. Uh, you, you're a fake. You're not my mommy. You betrayed me. Mommy would never betray me. Never. She'd be there to save me, no matter what. Don't you see? I'm going to meet my mommy. Got that? Mommy, save me. What? You lost your mind completely. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to mommy. Get lost. I love Rio. Mommy, I've tried so hard for so long. I've been wanting to see you so badly. Come get me, Mommy. Come quickly. <laughs> Hi, my. What a shame. I do believe this child is broken. Now what to do with him? I suppose I ought to perform the ritual and offer him as a sacrifice. That would make him a part of this world. Yes, I suppose he'll just have to die. Cyclone Mon, come here, would you? Yes, Lady Arukanamon. Kill this boy for me, would you? Should be easy enough. I'll leave it to you. Yes, my lady. Very good. I shall return to the altar. Then he's yours. I will kill the boy. Oh, that's who we saw earlier with Mio. Or with Kaito. Huh? What, what the? Hey, stop. What's going on? Mommy! Stay ah. still. You're so hard to hold. I'll drop you from here. That'll kill you for sure. Ah. Help me, Mommy! Shut up! Take this. Oh, fuck. Rio. Wait, did I drive Rio crazy? Is him dying my fault? Uh, mommy, mommy, save me, mommy. Stupid boy, time to end you. Rio. <laughs> what is that thing? A huge one eyed monster? That Cyclone one. Brute concerned only with his own power. Don't let the size of him scare you. He's a total buffoon. Eek, is Rio still alright? He's trying to resist. He's still okay. I need to save him. Fast. I'm scared, but I'll do my best. Kiyu! Kunmon says he wants to save Ryo. <gasps> Is Kunmon going to evolve? Run it. Don't worry, Kunmon. We'll save him. Haru, Mayuki, stay back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Okay. Alright, everybody. Let's do this. Oh, wow. So, oh, I can only bring three with me. Agumon's a definite... Come on. Hmm. I don't know why Floramon's a requirement for this, but we'll just go like that. Cyclamon defeated. Alright, I did not expect to go into another battle so soon. Um 
Yes, yeah, so increase Agumon's move ability. And uh Digivolve to Alright, and then move and Ah, he's just out of range. Uh Evolve to right. Now Greymon take a boost. Can destroy this chest or get this item open. Saint Knuckles. All right. End my turn. Yes, Cyclomon, charge at us. Oh, that's just a remote heal. Wow, Florimon, you're slower than the enemies. Can't digivolve. Your attack range is two. Oh yeah, move on up. <sighs> Cutscene time. Come on, Saki. We should help too. Yeah, you're right, Florimon. Hmm, puny little. What? You. Me? You are holding back. You only pretend to fight hard. What? No. You do not care about this one. So you pretend. Get lost. You are a nuisance. No, I. I Saki! Keep it together! Do I. Do I really not want to save Rio? Am I holding the others back? Yes. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Saki, don't let him get to you. I know better than anyone how much you can. I hope Florimon digivolves now. Do you really not want to save one of your friends? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I did it because it was the good thing to do. I didn't want the others to hate me. But did I really care about Ryu's feelings? I don't know. What was I supposed to do? Saki, it's okay. Florimon? Don't worry, you have an amazing heart. Just do what it tells you. That's all you need to do. What my heart tells me? Ask yourself, Saki. Is it telling you to stop right now? What is my heart telling me? It's it's not telling me to stop. One of my friends is suffering right in front of me. And I am not about to just sit here and watch. Florimon, lend me your strength. <laughs> That's the way, Saki. And Florimon, Digivolve to... Florimon's Digivolving to... Oh. 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 I hate Vegemon. Is that his name? Florimon. Vegemon's... I don't want to say. Yeah, Vegemon. The strength of your convictions has made me evolve to Vegemon. Now my strength matches what's in your heart. All right, here we go. I hope you're ready for this cyclone, Mon. Great, thanks. All right, Greymon. Raymond's gonna have to like run straight up through. Well, that is not much damage. Which means it's on to you two. 
This was... I know this is, doesn't seem like the right game that would have hidden things, but... Oh, he's in range of Greybon. And he misses. What's my attacks look like for this one? Poop toss. See, why would I want that? Alright, Greymon's getting danger close. Poop toss. Alright, so he's gonna rock fist, which is not what that attack looks like. He's like headbutts a rock towards the enemy. Poor Greymon. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. And then face that way. He's going to take him out. Hyper Heat would stun him. Actually, just do a regular attack. And end your turn. Jeez, everyone's ganging up on Grave. Guess who's activated my trap? I love how it's one attack and it's like, ah, cutscene time. Grr. Cut it out. This is bad. Sacramon's super strong. We can't let that stop us. We've got to save Rio. Come on, Agumon. Keep it up. Right. Take. Yes. If Agumon wants to go ultimate, that'd be cool. Uh, whoa, Cyclomon's attack shook the whole bridge. Ah. Oh no! Haru, did you push him? Ryu? Hayuru? No way, they fell off the bridge. No. Havu. We've got to go save him. Time to wrap this up now. Right! Huh. I kind of thought that would have been a good spot for him to get a new thing. Mm. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice. Now, for Lucky, Vegemon can take out the last one. I don't know if Vegemon can get close enough, but... Yeah. All right. And then there was one. Mega Flame! Ooh! 
Crush Cyclone Mon. I love the alliteration. Big fan. Floramon, gain like three levels. And Agumon gained a level. Falcomon, you get a level. Labramon, you get two. Nice. Look at all our things. Alright. Uh, uh, what, what happened? Oh, right. The, that monster dropped me and I died. Wait, no, I'm alive. But how? I was so high. We all learned something terrible about Haro. <laughs> oh, just you. Don't scare me like that, you miserable little brat. That's the thanks I get for saving you. You? Save me? Ha! Huh. Don't be ridiculous. Hmm. Well, whatever. Not that I care about you, anyway. What was that? I'll have to take that from some little brat. Hmm? Ah! Gar what the hell is wrong with you? Don't look at me like that. Like I said, I don't care about you. Not at all. You're a monster. Help me, mommy! Ugh. Ow. You probably shouldn't try to move. You may not have died, but you were injured. Ugh. Mommy, save me. Wait, that's right. I've got my phone. I can call mommy. Why isn't it working? So, why? I can't call my mommy. Why do you want to return to the real world? <laughs> sniff, sniff, shom. I d don't belong here. This isn't my world. Takuma and the others all hate me. I know. Because they all treat me like dead weight. They're trying to use those monsters of theirs to get rid of me. Oh, is that how it looks to you? That's why I want to go back. Back to my world. Back to my home. But it's okay. Any minute now. Mommy will call me and then I'll be saved. So, just how long are you going to keep deluding yourself? You should know better than anyone that your mother is never going to call you. <gasps> yes, that's right. Mommy was always sick. I wanted to spend more time with her, but the doctor said no. I tried so hard, but if I was lonely, she'd tell me to be strong, but... But those, those were her last words. Yes, that's right. Mommy's dead, of course. She's not going to call. Of course not. <laughs> Uh, yes, now I get it. Now it all makes sense. I've died. This is the afterlife, which means mommy must be somewhere close by. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? You're here, aren't you, mommy? Please come get him. This kid is done for. He's completely snapped. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid you're too late. Wait, I think I see something. Something in the fog. Yes, it's Mommy. I knew she'd come for me. Mommy, I'm here. You can see for yourself. Your precious Ryo has lost all touch with reality. You want me to come to you? Okay, wait for me, Mommy. I'll be right there. Okay, so Rios went crazy. And that's okay, because he wanted to. Rio, Haro, Haru. Here, I found them. They're both okay. 
Haru. Oh, what a relief. Saki, your face is a mess from all those tears. I'm so glad we found them, though. Yes, now we must make haste. The fog is starting to spread. Uh, hey, call me crazy, but is Rio running into the fog? What? Ah, <laughs> mommy. Mommy! <laughs> Rio, that uh, doesn't sound like he's doing too well. Yeah, I thought I heard him laughing. Oh no, guys, this is not looking good. Fuck, it's getting really dense. Right, this is bad. Rio, Haru, you're both in danger. Get over here, quick! What's that? Looking to where Aoi's pointing, I see a black shadow. Am I seeing things? I like some sort of tentacle came out of that shadow. Uh, no, those are hands. <laughs> no way, it's hey, she for real. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, that thing looks like real bad news. Um, Rio's in trouble, but I'm going to save that for the next episode because I can finally save. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying uh, Digimon Survive. Be sure to come back next time where we figure out what the hell happens to Rio. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.